Hey everybody, welcome to Kilmer's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. So, you know, they're really building off of this uh, uh, modern day Ghostbusters. I don't know if it can ever eclipse what we've done in the past with Ghost the original Ghostbusters, but they discover an artifact that could lead them back to the Ice Age, so Ghostbusters old and new must join forces to make this happen. Paul Rudd, who's a new Ghostbuster, is in it. Um, and Finn Wolf uh, Wolfhard from Stranger Things is in it as well. McKenna Grace, she's a new one. Um, and Kumala Nujanje is in this as well. But it also, and there's some other people as well, but Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and Ernie Hudson as well as Annie Potts reprised their roles as uh, original Ghostbusters. So, oh yeah, and William Atherton. He was the city commissioner, I think, in the original one. He's the guy who shut down the city grid. <laughs> So there you go. Um, it's only a 6.2 on IMDb, which is not great, right? And 37,436 people rated it. So my light's going crazy, but I'll get into it, see if it's any good, let you know what I think. Stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. And I'll say this: while nothing will ever be the original Ghostbusters, obviously classic. It was meant for its time, you know. I don't think it's, uh, you know, it works now as much. I don't think so. Anyway, and but this one I think was better than the last, better than the the previous one with Paul Rudd in it when they're in Oklahoma or whatever. But you have to kind of see that one to get the backstory for this one. So they kind of, in a sense, you know, you have to see that first one, and and it, it makes this one much better. Um, there are a lot of funny parts, but they're mainly from like our guest actors, like Kumala. He was—he's always funny, I think. Um, and the other kid, the the other kid they pulled in from Oklahoma. I don't even know what his character name was, but he was just another kid. And they all show up. Like I don't remember how the the previous one ended, to be honest with you. And I know Paul Rudd was a professor or a teacher at a school, and and you know. Uh, there was a lady who had two kids, whatever, and they become a love interest. I got all that. Actually, I didn't, but I remembered it while watching this and how it kind of worked. And I know that there was other kids that in his class that helped him beat the ghost in the last one, but not really sure what... I don't remember all of it. But they're all in this. <laughs> or at least two, two of the kids are there. And anyway, but the other thing that this one does well is bridge the... the um, oh, well, there's, there's post credit scene, so i got to pause it there and I'll see it. Uh, but it bridges the original group with the Spanglers, which is the new group, right? And so that was fun to see. It was fun. I, you know, I, I liked it. A lot of Dan Aykroyd was in this one, but I would have seen a lot more Bill Murray's character. Because, you know, as soon as he comes back on, you see the the original, um, you know, the original character that he was and how funny he was. Uh, he, you know, led a lot of laughs from the original Ghostbusters. And Ernie Hudson's in this as well. Um, and at the end, they say for Ivan, for Ivan Reitman, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, it was okay. I get the 6.2. Um, very similar plot line, storyline, right? I mean, there's ghosts. The city council or the mayor wants to shut them down. They have to save the world. And then, you know, when, you know it's all this. It's the same. With very minimal nuances to make it a little bit different. But it bridges the two um, storylines kind of together in the past current pro Ghostbusters and the previous Ghostbusters, so so that's what you get. Um, but I like how they, they brought him back in, and they made a lot of references to the original, um, even a Stay Puff Marshmallow guy, the Ray Parker Jr. song, all that stuff. Uh, Sigourney Weaver was not in it, and the other guy, the guy from the second one, I liked him too. But the secretary who was in the original, she's in this. Um, so it was definitely worth a watch for me, um, but never can overtake the first and if you watch the two it's better than the second first i mean i don't know i'm rambling i said everything i don't need to repeat myself i'll keep it a short review um that's it hopefully that was helpful i don't know thanks for tuning in kimmel's irish pub